Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on your Unraid server as a VM. Home Assistant is an open source platform designed for home automation, allowing users to control and automate various smart devices within their home. It acts as a central hub that can integrate with a wide range of smart home products, including lights, thermostats, sensors, cameras, and more, enabling users to create a unified smart home experience. We now need to download the Home Assistant image file. You can find the link in the description. I'll be using the Cow2 image as shown here. Download and store this locally on your PC as we will need to extract the file. Go ahead and extract the file you just downloaded. I'll be using 7-zip, you can find the link in the description to download. We will now go ahead and copy the image file onto our Unraid server. I will copy the image file into my virtual disks under a new folder named Home Assistant. Copy the file over. Okay, so let's head over to our Unraid server. Before we get started, we need to ensure to enable VMs. You can do this by clicking the settings link from the top menu bar. From here click into VM Manager and ensure to enable this option. Press Apply to save your settings. Once this is done, you may need to refresh. You should now see VMS in your navigation bar. Press this. As you can see, I already have a current Home Assistant VM running. Click Add VM and choose Linux. Give your VM a name. Leave CPU mode as default. It's recommended to give Home Assistant 2 cores. I would refrain from allocating cores 1 and 2 as these are best allocated to Unraid. Give the VM at no less than 2 GB of RAM. For primary VDisk location, we're going to change this to manual and locate the image file we previously moved over to our virtual disks folder. Select the image file. Everything else here. You can pretty much leave as default, unless you know what you are doing, and require these settings to be changed. If you have any USB Zigbee sticks, you can pass these through by ticking the relevant boxes. Tick Start VM after creation to create your Home Assistant VM. If all goes tickety-boo. You should have an IP address allocated. This is the address you'll use to access your Home Assistant. You can also use the Home Assistant local address as shown here. So let's head back to our browser. Open a new tab and paste in your IP address. Make sure you include the full address including the 8123 port number. If you have followed correctly you should now see the onboarding screen. Click Create My Smart Home to begin your installation. Enjoy! I'll see you next time.